This is Henley as it was last year, as it is most years. Paradise for all who love rowing and the Royal Regatta. And surely on its final day, nature is under an obligation to provide royal weather. Weather. Surely there can't have been another Saturday as ghastly as this. River, land and sky merging into one half-drowned desolation. But do river folk say rain stops Henley? Let's all scamper for shelter. Not on your luck. There have been regattas on Henley Reach for 124 years. The Diamond Skulls race was instituted in 1844, and competing today are Cotman of Switzerland on the left and W.L. Barry of Quentin Boat Club. The downpour forgotten, they hit a cracking pace and maintain it. It's the closest finished in the Diamond for several years. Barry almost does it, but by two feet, Cotman is first across the line and then slumps. I wonder if there'll be any play if I drive to Wimbledon on Monday. Slowly, that old warrior, General Mudd, won the Battle of Henley so far as the shore engagements were concerned. Eventually, man reverted to the primeval slime. Regattas? I've swum them. The Prince Philip Challenge Cup. Auckland, Farside versus Thames Rowing Club. The saloon bar, sir? Straight on. The New Zealanders had the race to themselves for all the opposition Thames could show. Auckland's victory by a big margin. Here's mud in your eye. Keep right on to the end of the road. The race we really wanted to win, the Grand Challenge Cup. The contestants in this England versus America final, University of London, far side, against the hitherto unbeaten Cornell University. To the surprise of all who fancied Cornell, London University, nearest the camera, dominated the Americans and won easily by three quarters of a length. And that was the highlight of a final day at Henley that really deserved better weather. Nothing for it but to go home. Wonder if there's a nice river for me to park at Wimbledon.